Hey, before I get into this video, I want to remind you to enter our Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition giveaway. To enter, all you need to do is drop a like on this video, comment down below, and the comment is very important because that is how I am able to track everything through. Uh, you need to subscribe to the channel and you need to hit that bell icon. Uh, thank you guys so much for entering. You can enter once uh, per video and then, yeah, we'll announce the winner at the end of the month. Hey everyone, uh, there is something that we need to talk about today that's a little sad. Uh, and that is that Nintendo supposedly not only doesn't have a Nintendo Direct planned for June, which was announced by VentureBeat a long time ago, uh, they apparently do not have a Nintendo Direct coming at all. Now this is according to Jeff Grubb who works at VentureBeat, GamesBeat, etc. Uh, he put up a report today talking about, you know, what to expect from the big three, big three and other major companies for the rest of 2020. Uh, and he just basically talks about things that we mostly already know, like how Sony and Microsoft handling the, the events for uh, their platforms and all that jazz. But what's interesting is that he expands upon his previous report that Nintendo won't do a Direct in June by saying that Nintendo isn't going to do a Direct, at least at all. There's, there's absolutely zero plans internally at Nintendo to make a Nintendo Direct this year or right now, even in the future. Although, obviously, you know, that can change once everyone goes back to work and they're not working from home. Uh, Nintendo plans to announce all of their first party games in the same way that they announced Paper Mario the Origami King, uh, which is essentially social media and YouTube. They're just going to drop announcements and that is what it is. And obviously Nintendo will gauge how that works throughout the year, how the sales are impacted, all that jazz uh, to make future decisions. Uh, they uh, have told other companies uh, that are making things um, to not wait for Direct uh, and to just announce the game in any other way they feel fit. So, like, if there's, like, Ubisoft has a partnership with Nintendo on something, they're not going to be like, hey, Ubisoft, you should wait until we have a direct. No, they're not going to try to control how, how games are announced for Switch. They're just going to say you announce it any way that you see fit. Don't wait for us. Um... So yeah, uh, as for obviously what we have to expect, uh, VentureBeat uh, has previously reported on obviously the Pikmin 3 Deluxe news that we, we talked about on Saturday, uh, the 3D Mario remasters, which have been around for a while, the Super Mario 3D World Deluxe, th that was a rumor that dropped at the same time that Paper Mario seemed to confirm because Paper Mario was part of that original report. Um, as for any surprises they might have beyond that, obviously we have to wait. Um, Nintendo could be waiting until they do directs. It could be waiting just because they don't have anything. We don't know. We don't know if it's just going to be Mario Remasters and Pikmin 3 carrying the way uh, with, with Mario 3D World ported as well, or if there's going to be other things. Uh, obviously, Nintendo keeps that stuff close to the vest. I obviously have hopes for Breath of the Wild 2 this year, even though uh, with everything going on, it's probably a 2021 title at this point. Uh, still, you never know. Now, what I want to talk about with all this, that's, that's the news in a nutshell, is, is this the end? Of Nintendo Directs is this like the beginning of the end? See, Nintendo was has been ahead of the curve for some time, right? Um, when they stopped doing the live uh, in-person uh, presentation at E3, uh, they were the first company to do that to, to 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 just stop doing that, and they replaced it with digital events and Nintendo Directs, which they had already been doing. Nintendo Directs, they just expanded it to their E3 show. So Nintendo has been ahead of the curve there. Now we've seen a lot of companies mimic what Nintendo was doing, in particular to console companies. Obviously. We have Inside Xbox from Microsoft and State of Play from PlayStation. And both Inside Xbox and State of Play seem to happen more often uh, than, you know, a Nintendo Direct. They're a lot more consistent. They're easier to predict when they're going to occur. And that's that's good. That's good for those companies. They took what Nintendo has done and kind of normalized it and annualized it to a point uh, where people know what to expect and when to expect announcements. Uh, Nintendo uh, sometimes gets in kind of a flow where for like a couple of years they'll they'll do things at a consistent pace and then the third year just completely changes and obviously right now we're in the midst of they've only given us two individual game directs which were to announce dlc uh and then they have given us one mini direct which gave us a, a slew a, a smattering of announcements but nothing that really uh made people jump out of their chairs per se uh, unless you're me and you're super into ninjala which has now been delayed so i mean that's that that happened um I think that uh, Nintendo is still going to be highly successful without directs. I don't think that Nintendo needs a direct uh, to hype things up and to get people to buy products. 
I think Paper Mario this summer, July 17th, is going to sell like gangbusters. It's going to probably become the best-selling Paper Mario game of all time. And I think we're going to see whenever they decide to drop the announcement for Pikmin 3 that it'll end up outselling the Wii U version of Pikmin 3. I think the Mario remasters are going to sell really well. I think Super Mario 3D World is going to sell really, really well. I mean, we already saw a new Super Mario Bros. U Deluxe sell 6 million units. So we know that these are all going to be really big sellers. And I think what's going to happen is Nintendo's going to see that sales don't seem to be impacted by not putting together massive directs and just dropping trailers and stuff randomly uh, on social media that Nintendo is going to be kind of ahead of the curve again where they don't need big showings to showcase stuff they could just announce things when they feel like announcing them and they can announce them by themselves uh, there are some things that probably are negatively impacted by this as an example less eyeballs on some smaller scale games potentially uh, but again you know the sales numbers are going to bear out if that's even the case if they could just announce some of these smaller games even indie world games you know through Twitter and and, and YouTube and see the sales uh, still say hi since they get individual Individual attention instead of getting buried by bigger titles it's, it's going to be kind of a, a an experimental year for nintendo as a lot of their employees i think all of them actually are working from home now um if these games do sell really well that does mean uh that nintendo could reevaluate whether nintendo directs are worth doing as much hype as they drive as excited as they get as much attention as they might take for a day or two on the internet they might find that they get actually more attention by dropping things individually throughout the year and uh, never knowing when Nintendo is going to announce something. You could wake up one morning and they could be dropping uh, brand new news about the next Switch. Or you could wake up and they could drop new news about a brand new indie title. They could be dropping news about Breath of the Wild 2 or Metroid Prime 4 could be shown off just randomly. We don't even know when it's going to happen. And some people prefer this method, of course, because it means every single day of the year is a chance to be excited for something from Nintendo or something coming to Nintendo's platform or for a new platform from Nintendo. Other people will look at it as, I like to know when to expect announcements so I could take time off and prepare, uh, maybe you know set up live streams and all that jazz like we do here. It's good to have a little bit of warning, but... Uh, you know, maybe Nintendo's going to find that method of uh, marketing just isn't as effective or more effective than just dropping things on Twitter. And it's a lot easier and cheaper for Nintendo to not have to put together a video production uh, to do this. So uh, this this begs the question, is Nintendo going to be ahead of the curve and just be dropping things individually on Twitter and, and Facebook and all this stuff and just give up traditional um, Nintendo Directs and, and all that? And I think as a consumer as as a nintendo fan the idea of thinking that will that, that nintendo could do away with those big general nintendo directs is a little bit sad uh because what was cool about having multiple big nintendo directs throughout the year whether it was two or three or four of them uh was it was kind of like having three or four individual e3 like events like nothing's quite like e3 because they they expanded with the nintendo treehouse stuff which is crazy and awesome and amazing but being able to have a major, you know, 30, potential 30 to 45 minute direct, you know, three, four times a year was exciting. Even if you ended up being disappointed, you always knew, well, maybe the next one that comes around in a few months, I'll be even more excited for. Uh, so there was always this excitement built around them and a lot of hype. And I enjoy hype. I enjoy excitement. I enjoy, um, you know, knowing that, hey, a direct's coming and we should get really, really pumped about it. And now having this news that there's no directs coming, that Nintendo's not even planning a direct, um, that, the, you know, maybe they get one by the end of the year, but probably not, is, is kind of a watching the way the industry has conducted itself and Nintendo's conducted itself kind of go by the wayside in favor of just dropping things randomly on social media. Basically, Nintendo is YouTube in it. You guys have no idea what video I'm going to make. You have no idea if I'm going to drop a video one day. You have no idea how many videos you're going to get. You have no idea what the topics are going to be or what kind of video. Is it going to be a news video? Is it going to be a podcast? Is it going to be um, an editorial piece? You guys don't know. You don't know until it just drops. And that's what Nintendo's doing. We don't know what day, what time, um, what franchise, whatever they're going to talk about. We don't know. Nintendo's just going to drop it. And uh, they're going to see if that's a great way for marketing versus what they've traditionally done. So I hope this is not the end of Nintendo Directs. And it's important to know that Jeff Grubb at VentureBeat is not saying it is the end of Directs and that they could even hold back certain big games until they're going to have a Direct. Um, he is noting that there's just 
don't have any plans for it and they're going to keep announcing things the way they announced paper mario and uh i think the way they announced paper mario has i mean it's got to be viewed viewed as a success um you know if i'm just looking over here on youtube i mean that paper mario trailer is is insane with its numbers right now um you know i think it's got almost like we got 4.1 million views of that trailer on nintendo's channel that's just nintendo's trailer that's not including all the live reactions that's not including other um, re-uploads of that trailer by some outlets uh i mean i'm sure the views at this point are probably closer to 6 million uh if you start including all the extra videos if not more and that's huge that's huge numbers for nintendo uh for a game like that's more than some paper marios have sold so Clearly, this strategy is going to work, and this Paper Mario is going to be super, well, sell super well in comparison to other Paper Mario games. I think Nintendo um, is going to end up being done with directs. I think that, you know, if we're lucky, and this is a big if, we still get one per year, and that'll be at E3 next year. But then this assumes that E3 comes back, even though they're planning to come back. It doesn't mean all the companies are going to support it. And this presumes that Nintendo is going to want that same sort of presence they usually have at E3 again in 2021. Again, a lot of unknowns because that's over a year from now and who knows uh, what's going to happen between now and then. So I think right now the only information we can go off of is we haven't had a general direct. We're almost halfway through the year and we haven't had a general direct. And now we have a reporter coming out saying, look, they're not going to be doing a direct anytime soon and there's no plans for it no talks not even a whisper inside nintendo of a direct which tells you that maybe nintendo's done with them and as we see them drop more and more of these individual announcements and those individual announcements keep dominating the day and, and taking all this attention and getting millions and millions and millions of views on youtube and other platforms you're going to see that nintendo might decide they don't need directs anymore and if that's what happens <sighs> farewell 2019 the last year that we got real honest to goodness general nintendo directs heck i don't even know if a mini's in the cards that mini we got you might as well uh, put that one in the memory bank because that could be the last one of those we get too anyways folks uh you guys let me know what you think about this do you want nintendo directs to come back do you think nintendo's new way of dropping things largely because of the pandemic is actually a better method of advertising than traditional directs games maybe get more individual attention that could dominate the day you know would paper mario have outshined a bunch of other things that maybe we could talk about on other days i don't know i'm really confused i don't know what to think i want to know your guys' thoughts on this i'm torn between them getting rid of directs and keeping directs i'm not sure which way to lean uh but maybe you guys can make a better argument for it down in the comments below for me anyways thank you guys so much for tuning in be sure to enter our giveaway and i will catch you guys in the next video